Hello everyone! Today I'd like to talk to you about an issue you might run into when you're trying to enable the Betaflight OSD so that it will work with the DJI FPV system, but your flight controller does not have a built-in OSD chip. Okay, so by now you should all know that as of the beginning of December 2019, DJI released an update for the FPV system that enabled the Betaflight OSD to work uh, with the DJI goggles. And that works even if your flight controller does not have a built-in OSD chip, because it doesn't need that OSD chip to overlay the images onto the analog video. It sends the data through the MSP connection, and that gets to your goggles, and your goggles puts the OSD information over the video display. But I was reading recently in the DJI forums that there is a potential issue with Betaflight and if your flight controller, like mine, does not have the built-in OSD chip, you can get a problem where your, I think it's the PID loop, gets out of sync. It doesn't run at the correct speed. So I was reading this forum and came across, well, I came across this person, DJI user, who mentions the problem. And then shortly after that, this other DJI user talks about how it was also a problem for them with the TransTech F7 HD flight controller without OSD chip. I happen to be using the uh, Holy Bro Kakute F7 HDV, which is the same as the Holy Bro Kakute F7 without the flight control, not the flight control, without the OSD chip and the built-in connections for the DJI. So it's a pretty popular flight controller. These kind of flight controllers with without OSD chips are pretty popular for the DJI customers. And other people might find that they run into this exact same problem. And according to this, it sounds like the actual problem is that the Betaflight target is designed for the flight controller that has the OSD chip, but they didn't make the right settings changes for to make a new target for the controller that does not have the OSD chip. So there's actually a really simple fix, according to this DJI user here, that we need to go figure out what our chip is and tell Betaflight to ignore it. If you don't tell Betaflight to ignore it, I believe what happens is the code in Betaflight tries to contact the OSD chip and you know tell it what to put on the OSD. And since it doesn't exist, it times out and it causes all sorts of problems. So let's go over to Betaflight and show you what that looks like and how to tell if you have that problem. So I'm going to connect my USB port over here to my flight controller. All right, and there we go, it's all connected. Hit connect. And we'll just double check here in my configuration. You can see that I have telemetry is enabled and OSD is enabled. Those are the things you need in order to make sure that your OSD is showing up for you. And then I'll go here to my CLI and I will type tasks, A-S-K-S. And what I'm looking for here is this line that says gyro PID. This should be as close to 8,000 as possible in my case because I have my gyro and PID loop set to 8,000. Now you might have that set to 4,000 instead, and every time you run tasks, you want that to be very, very close. Oops. And you can see here it's 8,000. This time it's 6,006. So it is not very consistent. 7,979. So those are pretty close to 8,000. There it's 7,476. So that's getting low again. 79, 88. As you can see, it's there it was 6,000 again. It's very inconsistent. So that's not how you want your flight controller to be operating. So what we need to do is let's go back to that web page. This command actually worked exactly correct for mine. Whoops. But I'm not exactly sure how to figure out what OSD chip you might have in yours. One thing I tried to do was I ran a dump command and I looked through the dump to find something that looked similar to that. And I was able to find that in my dump, it actually contained exactly uh, 
the MAX 7456 SPI bus, you might find that your flight controller has something slightly different. But if you have the Kakute F7 HDV, or if you have that TransTech one mentioned in the DJI page, all you need to do is enter set max 7456 underscore SPI underscore bus equals to zero. Hit enter. See, there's no errors with that. We want to save our configuration. That will force it to automatically reboot. And we'll connect. Oh, connected too fast. Try connecting again. Okay. Now we'll just double check. We'll see in the configuration I'm still 8K, 8K. I've got telemetry enabled and my OSD is on. Yeah, I've got my magnetometer turned on, but I don't have one. Oh well. And we'll go down here to the CLI. And now if we type tasks, you'll see 7990 tasks, 8004, 8002, 8003, 7998, 8000. You'll see that no matter how often I reload this, it gets really close to 8,000. So that's all there is to it. That's the simple fix. You tell Betaflight to stop trying to talk to your OSD chip that doesn't exist, and your PID loop will stabilize where you tell it to. Hopefully that will help a few of you out there get better performance out of your flight controllers without OSD chips. Thank you for watching. See you next time.